Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Duns and Dragons, and I specifically want to talk about the greatest catalyst of Gary Gygax's legacy, which is Grow As Group, and how we use Grow As Group to make sure everybody at our table is, yeah, is happier. I actually believe that Duns and Dragons is a solution for making everyone at the table happier and i want to talk about the path to that all right so let's let's jump into this so one i despise the word happiness uh but um i i have tried for a long time i i really would love to to change our language right but that's not easy to do and so like i recently did it i really feel like we should totally abandon the word campaign for duns and dragons we should be saying season one episode x right Season is a story arc, and episode X is each episode is a session, right? It, it's, it makes sense. It's powerful. It's the right path. It's not going to work. People, you know, people don't understand what, if I say Dungeons and Dragons season one, they're like, oh yeah, Legends of Vox Machina on Amazon Prime. I'm like, no, that's not it, right? So campaign sticks around, right? So I despise the word happiness, right? And I actually think everybody who's seeking happiness is, are fools, but the world is filled with fools, right? And the reality is happiness, the word has won, right? The world wants to be happy, okay? And just to be super clear, I'm an evangelical Christian. We understand we understand happiness is, is a ridiculous fallacy. What you actually want is joy, which is completely different but you're not sitting in church every Sunday, so I can't use that language with you. So I have to meet you where you are. Let's, so let's talk about happiness, right? So I believe that if you use Grow As Group, you can make yourself and everyone in your group happier, okay? And I actually believe it is the best path on the planet. It's the best, best secular path on the planet Nothing is more about is is a better. Nothing is more effective than Dungeons and Dragons for building happiness. Nothing. Okay. So let's get into this. Okay. So so let me explain how this works. Okay. So how would Dungeons and Dragons make people happier? Okay. So first of all, when people say happiness, what do they actually mean? What do they want? They want to smile from ear to ear and feel happy every day. That's what they want. Right. Now, it's a, it's a bad goal, but you can't fix people, right? Like, this is what they want, right? So you got to meet them where they're at. So so how do people pursue happiness? If they're not doing Dungeons & Dragons, how are they pursuing happiness? Number one pro pa path in the world is the couch scribblers, right? People are like, oh, I'm not happy. I'm broke. If I was fixed, I'd be happy, right? I better get a couch scribbler. They cost $200 an hour. I go, I sit on their couch. They sit across me, scribble. I ask a question, they ask a question. And the question, there's a 50% chance that the question is, well, how's your relationship with your mother? Right, like it, it's the couch scribblers. They are the most, they are the number one path that people use to gain happiness, right? Now, I just listened to uh, Hassan Minaj. Uh, Hassan Minaj, brilliant comedian. He also was a pioneer in data visualization in news, but brilliant, brilliant guy, right? And he just said something really fascinating on his on, on literally on his current his current Netflix special. His current Netflix special. He said he said the following. Here's what Hassan Masad Minaj said: Therapy doesn't work. I have all the money in the world. I have enough money for all the therapy for myself, for my wife, for my entire family. I can pay for therapy for everyone. All right. And we can get the best. We can get the best there is. And I can tell you right now, none of them work. And, uh, the, and the reason why is I know tons of people in Hollywood just like me. They're all garbage people and none of them have been fixed. None of them, right? So the, the issue is I feel like we've fully arrived, right? The reality is, and like I listen to um, Anna Akana. She, she parrots what her therapist says every single issue but because she's so transparent, none of it's working. She's not married. She's not happy. She's, she hasn't fixed any of her relationships. She's no, she's no closer to being able to be in a healthy relationship. Like she says it in every video, right? It's astonishing, right? Like, 
you know, and so, so the couch scribblers are a major attempt to get happiness. It does not work, right? Now, why on earth would Dungeons and Dragons be able to deliver happiness when the cow, when literally a person you're paying $200 an hour to fix you, not? Let's get into it. All right. So this is my opinion. Okay. Empowerment. Dungeons and Dragons actually empowers people. Okay. How? Well, first of all, through the three things. Okay. And this is all, on all, every single one of these are elements of, it's because of what Gary built, right? Gary built, Gary Gygax built Dungeons and Dragons to empower every human being effectively. Okay. So first of all, all you need is 150 bucks, right? And every, oh, and you don't even need that. Every single book that I just, you can literally go to the library and get them for free, right? Like you can get every, you can get the PHB, the monster manual and the DMG for free. So Gary built a process to do everything that couch scribbles would do far more effectively for nothing, right? So first of all, he threw out the wealth class, right? And that's the only people who could afford $200 an hour to have somebody try to make them happy and not, okay? But Gary actually did it, right? So how does Dungeons and Dragons empower? So through Grow by Group, first of all, he said, you don't sit at the table alone. That's called an author, right? You get a group. That group can be two or it can be six, you know? Uh, it can be one Dungeon Master, one Dragon Master, or one Dragon Master and five, one Dungeon Master and five Dragon Masters, okay? So you get a group, right? And then that group, you grow by group. You challenge each other and you establish three things, okay? An intellectual platform. Dungeons and Dragons today, right? And it, it's, it, the numbers varied a little bit, but today, 1,150 pages to start, to start. 1,150 pages to start, right? Like it's 384 pages for each of the core books. 1,150 1, pages to start, right? That builds an intellectual platform. And once you begin, whether you're, whether you're identity stacking on the Dragon Master side, or whether you're world building on the Dungeon Master side, you're gonna collect libraries, you're going to, uh, and, you're, and, and every single discipline that has ever been created becomes your purview. You are purviewless. You are beyond purview. Literally, Every body of knowledge that humanity has ever entered uh, becomes your purview, okay? That's important. That is extremely important. So intellectual platform, emotional range, and spiritual equilibrium. That's what Dungeons and Dragons demands and builds, okay? And it does it for nothing, okay? And as you begin to uh, play, air quotes, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, it empowers you. Because now you have an intellectual platform, your brain has is purviewless, and you have multiple libraries, right? Emotional range, you have literally gone through death, you have gone through many lives, you've gone through multiple genders, you have gone through multiple personalities, multiple experiences, multiple emotional sets, multiple, uh, multiple memories, right? You are, you have emotional range, right? And you have spiritual equilibrium, right? The rest of the world is like, oh, atheism or agnosticism. Dungeons and Dragons is like, you can suck it. That does not exist. Every world has a God and you will bow. Every world has a God. Oh wait, Scott, what about Dark Stark Sun? That's why it's not back, all right? It, it was the one weirdo and they're like, you know what? Every single one of our worlds has a pantheon you bend the knee and there is no debate on whether spirituality is real. Every single world gets healing through the gods. There is no healing in this world without God. I believe that there's no healing in this world without God, right? Now, and and this is, and Dungeons and Dragons is does not saying you have to be a Christian. Dungeons and Dragons is not saying you have to be a Muslim. Dungeons and Dragons is not saying you have to be a Shintoist, right? But it is saying you cannot be an atheist or an agnostic or you are a fool. It lives, it le it gives zero, it, it, it nixes it. It's like, no, no fool, no. Every world has a God and you will bow, right? That's it, right? And oh, and you can stand over here and not bow 
Uh, but how, how's that working when the cleric comes over and heals you literally with the power of God, right? Every, and that's spiritual equilibrium, right? Then once you arrive, right, and you paid nothing, right? And you go session after session after session, right? But not to hear some one, one couch clipper, but to hear four people, to hear two, you know, one to four other people who love you and care about you and actually are driving to make you better, right? You are empowered. And guess what empowerment brings? Actual happiness, right? Empowerment brings happiness. And no couch scribbler in the world can empower you with anything. But Gary Gygax built a secular way to empower you for free every day in every possible way. Gary up, couch scribblers down, right? Dungeons and Dragons can actually bring real happiness, right? Can make you happier, happier, can make you happier. And so, yeah, in that, it, yeah, if your happiness quotient is one, it can take you to three, or it can take you to three, th three, 30, or it can take you to 300, or it can take you to 3,000. It can even take you over 9,000, right? It can give you more happiness, right? And so that's the issue. That That is the reason why I am talking about Grow As Group. Grow As Group is a real path to real happiness, right? For anyone who is in the secular world, right? Um, in my humble opinion, every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a fetch millennium.